Wow, look at the clouds. It looks cottony and fluffy. I feel like eating cotton candy now. Hmm, let's make cotton candy. Hi, welcome to another episode of Science at Home. I'm Fatin, your resident social distancing scientist from Tadon Penang. So today, we are going to make cotton candy and learn the science behind it. To make cotton candy, you will only need a cotton candy machine, satay stick, and some sugar. You can also add food coloring to the sugar. Now, we are making some colored sugar. The first step is add some food coloring into the sugar. Close the lid and shake the container to mix them well. The colored sugar is done. The first step is switch on the cotton candy machine and warm it up for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, turn off the machine, scoop some sugar and add into the bowl of the rotating disc. Turn on the machine again. When you see the webs coming out, collect by using the satay stick. Sugar is made from carbon, hydrogen and oxygen combined together by some bonds. Heating the sugar will break the other bonds. Hydrogen and oxygen will become water vapor that will evaporate into the air when they are heated. The sugar will then melt. As the machine spins, the liquid sugar will become strands of sugar found in the cotton candy. Your cotton candy is done! Remember not to touch the machine because it can get really hot. And make sure you have adult with you. Cotton candy is made from sugar. The sugar that we use is also known as sucrose. Sucrose is a disaccharide. The disaccharide consists of two monosaccharide or two simple sugar. The simple sugar are glucose and fructose. Other examples of disaccharide sugar are lactose found in milk and also maltose found in grains. I hope you have learned something from this video. Like and share this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon.